Well, another one of the requests I had this weekend was to speak on the fact of the 50 Cent effing vodka situation. The effing vodka situation is very clear. Effing vodka and 50 Cent, well, people thought 50 Cent owned the entire company when effing vodka been around forever. Uh, same thing with Ciroc. You know, Diddy was in a position to buy the majority share of the company, but he still have other owners that was in the company. And he helped transform the whole look of that company. And so did uh, 50 Cent with F and Vodka. But 50 Cent was a minority shareholder in the company. Uh, There's nothing wrong with being a minority share owner of a company. But what 50 did and what he brought to the table was actually raise the stock value and the profit value of F and Vodka. Now, here's the reason why he's sold his shares and things of that nature. There was a discrepancy last year in which F and Vodka wanted to go in a different direction from 50 Cent um, with things he was doing on Instagram, like recording people. And he recorded a kid that was handicapped at an airport. So the corporation, you know, 50 Cent got a lot of bad, uh, you know, publicity around it in which he had to come out and apologize. So, F and Vodka had to come out and apologize as well because they this has affected their brand. 50 is not only a minority uh, owner into the company, a shareholder rather, he's also the spokesman for F and Vodka. So they had a meeting with 50 Cent and they had a discussion about it and how they were going to go about an apology from 50 Cent. Now, with the television show Power, you know, and with the character that he plays with Kanan corrupting a kid, it's kind of conflict of interest with F and Vodka. Because it's like you're teaching this young kid to drink and do all of these things on a television show, but your face is the image of F and Vodka. We're not promoting kids drinking illegal anything so effin wanted to separate their partnership with 50 cents basically due to this situation here so they couldn't come to a, an agreement on contents of that's not 50 cent that's canaan this is 50 cent so they decided to part ways And by parting ways, uh, 50 cleared about uh, 40 plus million dollars in the settlement as far as the buyout, which probably got some um, and other perks and incentives in it. So who knows what it's worth when it's all said and done. But his minority shares in the company should net him at least 40 million dollars. Now, That's not a bad for all the work he's put in for the company. Because a lot of people, especially brothers, did not know what F and Baca was. I mean, he brought artists, DJs, nightclubs, radio personalities. He brought them over to F and Baca. Got them paid. I mean, 50 did his thing. When it comes to marketing and, produ and producing, he does it better than anybody I've seen do it. Diddy's good as well, but 50 is a self-promoting machine. So, other than that, it's your boy Carcino. I'm out. Uh-oh.
as soon as this happens. Okay, don't forget to subscribe <laughs> and hit the notification button because and check to make sure you're getting your notifications again because I don't know what's going on with the whole YouTube thing right now. I'm out.